This is Dr. Carroll, and this video is about switch statements. The switch statement is a selection control structure for multi-way branching. Let's see an example. Here we have uh, an example switch statement. Notice switch is a keyword here. We're going to ask the user to input a desired unit of weight for grams, ounces, or pounds and then we'll display the weight in pounds appropriately, either grams, ounces, or pounds. It's generally preferred to sort these alphabetically, so if you have a long list, they're, they're easy to find. you also notice there's this default here, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's see it in action. Okay, if we enter G for grams, we echo the response, then we say, hey, that's 75,000 grams, great. Whereas if we run it and we say, let's have ounces, we get 2,600 ounces. And so that's a, a simple example there of a, a working switch statement. Now, now let's get into the particulars of it. So a typical syntax is that we'll have switch, which is a keyword, and then we'll have an integral expression and then we have multiple case labels. And it, in each label, we'll have one or more statements. And we typically have a break statement with each one. And as you saw in the example, you can have multiple case statements here. And it, it can go on and on. And then we, op we have the option to have a default as well with one or more statements. And the break here is. Um, more of a pattern from the other uh, statement blocks whereas it, it's truly optional here. So now let's go into each part here. The integral expression which can be either a char, short, int, long, or enumerated type is compared against each case statement to determine which branch is going to be taken. And it, it, it needs to evaluate as an integer uh, for the switch statement to work. The control, or you could think of it as execution, is then going to jump to the statement following the case label that it matches. Uh, then control proceeds through any statements until a break statement is encountered. You can see my video on break statements for more, inform for more details about the break statement. And now with the case labels here, shown as integral, constant 1, 2, and 3, they need to be constant integral expressions. So you can have um, integer that can be named with a, a variable, or they can be um, um, just hard-coded values. Uh, they can be enums. They can be integers. Um, but something that's an integral expression that can be evaluated as a constant. And as, as we saw in the example, you can have multiple case labels that precede a statement. And now, the control again proceeds through any statement. Um, sorry, the control jumps to the statement, statement following that, whether it be a case or not, and it'll continue until we hit a break statement. And it just de depends on the desired behavior of what we're looking for. And if no case labels match the integral expression, then the control branches to the default label if we have one. It may or may not be appropriate. And a common mistake is to forget the branch statement, which causes a logical error. That's it for this video.